who died after being shot early Saturday morning in Dublin has been identified as an up-and-coming Bay Area rapper. Hey, what's up? This your boy, Big Man. You already know what it is, man. So let's get right to it. Okay, man. So let's talk about this Lil Ye situation. Now, it's been a couple of days since the passing of Lil Ye's, man. I know for a lot of people in the hip hop community, this is no longer new news. But man, I had to talk about this situation because of the lack of developments in the story and the mystery around his untimely demise, man. It just seems like a weird situation. Now, I've read about three, four articles on this a couple of times. I've looked at his backstory. I've looked at all of his interactions, you know, on, on social media and looking at the mentions and stuff and just trying to think like, man, is this just that random of a shooting? I know that gets said a lot, man. There's oftentimes, man, that in the hip hop community, it's like, man, it's just a random shooting. And Folks who know what's up or know what, what it is, know what that rapper was into or what was going down behind the scenes and got a general idea based on the fan interactions and things like that. And sometimes even rumor of what might have took place or where the complications might have been. But this one is a straight up mystery. And man, before we get into all the details of that, man, do me a favor. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And man, let's get it. All right, now that we got that out of the way, so Lil Yace, man, for those of you who don't know, Lil Yace is a Bay Area representer. He's from San Francisco. He's from the projects out of there. And dude, man, has been rapping consistently since he was 18 years old, like literally putting down the work since he was 18. I mean, shooting videos, dropping singles, doing tapes, collabs, just the real grind work. And he made some really good connections in the rap game, man. He got up with Fetty Wap and they built a close relationship around the time that Fetty Wap was still kind of hot. And, you know, Fetty Wap brought him on the stage, allowed him to wreck that stage in front of 20,000 people, man. Dude was really getting a name and a buzz out there. And he kind of, he didn't let that sizzle out. He, he wrote it still on the underground plane. Like, dude had a decent social media following. I'm talking about like, over 100K, you know what I'm saying? Dude was all right, man. Like, there was ways for him to monetize his career and still be a valuable asset in the hip-hop game. Plus, he was only 26 years old, man. Now, one thing I saw about him is he was big on promoting his record label, 420 Productions. Now, dude was all about that, man, and it seemed like a positive thing. Now, he was obviously big on the 420 scene as well, man, if you get my drift. You know, I'm trying to I'm trying to tread lightly here. But dude looked like he had his own strand and all sorts of stuff going on. So man, it looked like dude had a business mind. And one thing you I always notice about Bay Area cats, man. Bay Area cats always have this mind state of okay, I'm gonna build my label. I'm gonna have my own stuff. It's always the independent grind first. Always with them. It's like it it's never, yo, man, let me go try to get this deal. And then I'm. it's like, it's always, yo, I'm going to set up my own little shop here, my own thing here. And I've always looked, I mean, from the E-40s to the two shorts to everybody, that is their mentality. It always has been. Even like Fillmore Slim and Cats, like, you know, that most cats wouldn't even know about. Like, I mean, the rapper Fillmore, not 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 the, the other guy. You know what I'm saying? But, man. It it always impressed me. I'm a, I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep that real. And it seemed like he was continuing that that trend of grinding, man. Dude had active music videos and stuff that he posted recently. And this is where we get into the mystery of his untimely demise and the shooting death of him, man. Now this is based on all the sources that were provided to the authorities and to the news media outlets. So Lil Yace had made his final post on Thanksgiving Eve. Now on thanks excuse me on Thanksgiving Day. On Thanksgiving Day, he made this post right here, and you can see. And in the caption, man, he basically let it be known that, man, if it's up, it's up. But he was just talking. It seemed like he was joking. This is what he said exactly. In the caption, he said, if my tripping, then I'm tripping. It's up with Unk. Happy Thanksgiving. So I don't know, man, what he means by it's up with Unc. Like, it, is his old is uncle, man? He, he tripping on him? He got beef or whatever in the streets? But nah, in all seriousness, that was the that was the last post. 
And a lot of people since then have commented in, on there and they've said, you know, rest in peace, Lil Yace. Or, you know, he goes by Yace Money 600 on, on his social media profile here. But, man, I don't know, man. It just leaves a lot of questions because, I mean, to be honest, that's a rather upbeat post. And then the night of the the night that he, you know, before he, he lost his life, he spent it in the studio, man. So he's in the studio and the studio is an hour away from where he got found. So let's, let's, man, let's break this down. So Friday evening, he was in uh, north of San Francisco in Marin County. So he was in Marin County and he was with his team and they were just chilling, man. They was having a studio session or whatnot. And he told his team he had to bounce. So he allegedly left like around 1130, you know, or close to midnight or whatnot. And then at 1 a.m. the next morning, which was Saturday morning, the news broke about his death, man. And you can hear about that in the news report right here. Here's a really quick news report from the sources out there. Who died after being shot early Saturday morning in Dublin has been identified as an up and coming Bay Area rapper. 26 year old Alexander Mark Antonio Jr. went by the nickname Lil Yace. The San Francisco resident was dropped off at a Pleasanton hospital suffering from multiple gunshot wounds. He later died at Eden Medical Center a few hours later. Dublin Police Services say they located a crime scene near the Dublin Pleasanton BART station. No arrests have been made. So as you heard in the report from the news out there, man, or ABC News or whatnot out there, and they basically said that, you know, the gentleman who was found ended up being Lil Yace, and man, he was in Dublin. Now, if you look at that area, you look around that area, and I've scanned the area or whatever and looked at it, you know, you can check it on Google Maps, and it's actually a rather nice area. So you, you it makes you wonder, like, what in the world took place here? Like, and what made him leave so fast from being in a studio session with his team? I mean, sometimes, you know, you got things to do. You got to take care of family or whatnot, stuff like that. And you got to go, man. Even if you're at work and you're on the grind, things happen, right? But, man, it just seems like, man, some some fishy, man. And there's a lot of rumors floating around on social media about it was a setup or something like that, man. Somebody told him to meet them there. And then, you know, this is what took place. But, man, I don't see anything definite that points towards that. And I hate to go with any of the conspiracy theories, but almost, man, sometimes these things are starting to Start, starting to roll together, man. Like, this is a, a strange situation because also friends and family, associates, everybody, even people online, man, dude did not have any enemies. Like, he didn't have any, like, ops like you would think, like, where he had any type of beef like that, especially not a shoot em up bang bang type beef, even though his lyrics are rather aggressive. But, man, dude just did not have any type of issue like that in the streets. But he still fell a victim of what we've been seeing going on in hip-hop lately. So, right now, this is 100% a mystery, man. And everybody's still trying to piece things together. I'm sure the authorities are working on it. But it's a strange occurrence that's going on in rap, man. Rappers, protect yourself. Everybody, man. Just stay in the house anyway, man. We got this whole craziness going on outside with the with the you know with the sickness man and the vid so just stay in man quarantine man and keep yourself safe because this is crazy man and i'm really tired of doing these stories to be honest man but with that this being your boy big man oh hold up man let me get to the best part what do you guys think do you think that maybe Lil yace was deeper in the streets than we considered or know about or is this legitimately maybe somebody who shot the wrong person or targeted the wrong person and why in that area i mean there's so many questions here man man you guys go ahead and ponder that but do me a favor make sure you hit that like button make sure you hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit that notification bell so you get a notification every time i drop this hot content and we out of here praise